by organizing events like this and taking us to these events, given us more knowledge about the areas that we want to go into and it's given us direction. I didn't really know what it was before so it does sound quite interesting but I think it was just good to hear like what it, it was from like coming from the people who actually do it instead of just like reading off a website or something. I was always interested in astronomy and that's what I wanted to do after I left university. Having said all that, late teens, mid teens, uh, started talking to my father and listening to his experiences in the British Army and I think it was a result of that coupled with uh, just changing you know how you change your, your mind sometimes during university. I had a major change of mind, really. And um, although I wasn't successful in uh, being selected for the, uh, the Royal Air Force or the Army or the Navy first time round, uh, I actually went to the defence industry for a short while. I was a missile systems engineer in Marconi Space and Defence. The best thing was probably uh, talking to people who have the experience and the knowledge and have been there and done all the exciting things that I wish to do in the future. I work at Raytheon Systems in Broughton. I came here today with my daughter who is in year nine at school and is just choosing GCSEs and my thoughts were to look at jobs within um, science and therefore engineering. And us three are in the RAF section of the, of the CCF squadron and we like going flying and gliding and going on other camps, obviously some overseas as well. I'm here today to promote engineering. To, um, to young people and uh, to try and get more females into the industry. Good to hear like lots of different ideas and the ways everyone came into the industry in a different way and I think it showed that you could come from any background really. Coming from people with experience and so I can believe what they're saying and so I find that like very helpful today. I certainly got some inspiration from your lecture um, just about the kind of personal circumstance and journeys really and how life can be, you know, what you make it all just by chance. This, this is the Astor model that, um, that we work on at Broughton. I work on a mechanical side, so I'm an apprentice. Mainly I work on the mechanical system, so it could be working on engines, repairing, sheet metal work, mainly stuff like that. I'm an Air Commodore in the Royal Air Force. I work at Royal Air Force Air Command, which is at High Wycombe, and I look after an area called Battle Space Management, which very briefly is military air traffic control, the Air Defence Command and Control Surveillance System, a bit of space, and joint ground-based air defence. So I have three Royal Artillery regiments under command. I think it's been great to hear from all the women and their different sort of roles into engineering. A good basic grounding in an engineering discipline teaches you the rigors of thought, basic practices and procedures that can be transferred across the, envir across the uh, industries and the environments. Oh, I'd like to be a pilot, yeah. I want to go in the Air Force. The diversity message is very important and it's diversity reflected in the title of the Aeronautical Society, it's aerospace and aviation. Although this uh, today has been predominantly about engineering, um, although your presentation touched very much on the piloting aspects, but in an, a very important engineering context, i.e. How, how can engineering help to diversify the experience of uh, piloting? across the community, which is extremely valuable. Um, I think I bring um, more of an operational bent to uh, the society, but one that's rooted a little bit in engineering. I was, um, uh, for example, involved in the World Land Speed Record project in 1997, and uh, actually I, I brought my engineering or stroke physics experience to bear there. I used to live in a house called Barter House which was the station commander's residence at RAF Boomer in Northumberland. Um, so Bada is one of our role models, our heroes, for his grit, his determination, his ability to rise to the challenge, per Ardur ad Astra. So he, st he still has massive relevance for today's uh, diverse service.